previous government had made forward sales on the crude oil, which means that some of the loans that was taken, particularly even the loans that was used for the elections, were based on the crude that we are yet to that we are yet to produce. So there's a significant amount of that that goes into servicing those debt. The Colin loan go run election. Abamanda. Anyway, we're going to dig deep into this. Stay tuned. Let's watch more of this. Please share this video. Whoa, this this is this is just a mind blowing revelation, and I believe that most Nigerians haven't come across this particular video that I'm about to show you. You know, taking a walk this morning, Saturday morning, and I believe that you'll be good. But the problem here is this: How do you sell your crude ahead? So now that means all the loans that they have been collecting, they'll be using our crude oil, you know, to, um, you know, use it as would I say, call it collateral or something. And then at the end of the day, <laughs> we are left with 200 barrels of uh, per day to use for our own activities. Now you understand the reason why our crude, you know, our forex is, is, is so under pressure while there is a lot of, uh, you know, problem in the country because of this forex of the thing. Now you understand the reason why they are going after, you know, build the change and the rest. Is it, is it proper for a government to behave in that manner? Anyway, I'll watch the video and then let's, let's have this conversation. When you look at Nigeria as of today, we do about 1.25 million barrels per day. Um, when you check the JV agreements or the production sharing quota, once the IOCs take their part, maybe we'll probably end with like half of that, like $750,000 um, per, uh, per day. You will recall that um, the previous government had made forward sales on the crude oil, which means that some of the loans that was taken, particularly even the loans that was used for the elections, were based on the crude that we are yet to that we are yet to produce. So there's a significant amount of that that goes into servicing those debt. There has also been one or two loans by this government, I think the one with IMF, which takes about 18% of our crude sales. So at the end of the day, you come up with about 200,000 barrels, which is what we use for our activities today. It is from there that our forex earnings come from, and it is part of the reason why we are not able to have enough forex for the Naira. Wow, so you've held him. This is too bad. Too bad for Nigeria. Can you imagine that you use your crude, do collect loan, last government, they don't sell this crude that they are, you know, your raw material, you, they went ahead to sell it ahead, meaning the government come in safe. Oh God. Um, actually, but then he he foreseen all this before he declared his uh, his you know ambition to be the president, and as well he was part and part parcel of the government before he came on board. When you hear them saying that we don't have money to run, you know, to pay subsidy, blah blah blah, plenty plenty English and all of that, you use eighteen percent of your crude, you know, to collect loan. Why would IMF tell you on what to do? Whether you should remove the subsidy? In order for them to make more money. You see, anyway, I'm going to dig more deep into this. And then let's look at the percentage of this IMF loan of $2.5 billion, which was given to them recently. And also the $150 billion from Samoa. And as well as the $50 billion that they are requesting for currently again. So if we may even ask, within the last two months, the government have requested for over $200 billion as loan from where? IMF and uh, this, the, 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 the European Union. And at the end of the day, what are they going to use to pay this thing? It is the destiny of the unborn children in Nigeria. What do you make of all this? Please share this video and let's have this conversation in the comment section. Thank you for watching.